see if Sugar's gonna come greet me. Oh, so, hello everyone. Hello everyone. You're all figured out how to get out today? Huh? <laughs> Kiwi, how you doing? How you doing, Kiwi? How you doing? No, you're looking the other way. Oh boy. Someone's gotten into our... Oh no, okay. Okay, I have some disappointing news. Our chickens got into the garden. I definitely have to clip their wings. They just flew right over and they got to our patch of our garden and they ate some of it. I'm glad it was covered, that is the point, just in case, but uh, something happened here. This is like smashed and that one's smashed. Okay, here they're doing really well. Here they're doing well. So, besides for that one, looks like this one. This one also looks a bit smashed. I don't know. This one looks like it's been cut off. So I don't know if it's who's been nibbling. I'm gonna come at night and see if it's been, sometimes we get some bugs. So we'll come check it. I have a treat for Kiwi. I wanna see if it's gonna work. It's Kiwis. I wonder if Kiwi likes Kiwis. So, I'm going to try it. <laughs> so, the kiwis I put out here, I thought kiwi would be interested, but she's not. She was totally not interested. My camera just died. She's not interested. We have this black one laying down next to uh, Kiwi. I wonder if she's getting broody. Kiwi stole two more chicken eggs and is now sitting on two more chicken eggs. But I think that the eggs that she laid are duds, which means I think that they are um, weren't fertilized. I don't. I am having a recurring problem in the garden with um, roly poly bugs. Officially, they're supposed to be harmless, but not my version and not my variety, I guess. They are eating the pea shoots. I've had it happen before that they eat stuff in the garden. I've been trying to figure out what to do. It hasn't worked so far. So unfortunately, they've been attacking the pea shoots. I have to come in at night and see for sure that it's them, but it looks like it. So I'm going to take the... I'm going to take the... Kiwi's out from Kiwi because she had no interest, even though her name is Kiwi, did not help. Zero interest. And I am going to place the Kiwi's in the garden near the peas. If you see, and I'm going to put a barrier like this, and hopefully they'll be interested in the Kiwi's and come all to the Kiwi's and leave our pea shoots alone. Because if we see, there's some bug eating there and down there. And this one, they go straight to the root. And they gnaw at the root and they kill the whole... They just don't give a chance to the plant. You can have a beautiful plant and overnight it's just gone. Because they just gnaw at the root. Or this one, look at this one. Whole plant just cut off. So I'm hoping... But that's a good enough barrier. We have a few still down there, but I put another barrier next to that group as well. And let's see what happens. I'll come, today's Friday, but I'll come in after Chavez and take a look. Well, it is time to go checking for slugs. Middle of the night. So that is what I am doing. I'm gonna take you along, let's go. So 
those are the men. The roosters, look from the window. These are the roosters. And in this tree are all the, are all the hens that are here. See, some are over there. I'm gonna leave them alone. We're gonna go check out the slugs. We're out by the peas, and remember I put out the kiwi trap, and I want to trap the slugs. So let's see if it's working. Okay. So these are our peas. These are our peas. So far, they haven't eaten more from last time we were here. I actually caught one. And here's the baby. Now the babies are the worst. They eat the most. Here's another baby. So, and here's another. And another baby slug. And let's see if there's any more. Okay, now I'm going to turn it over. What do we have on this side? Okay, we have lots of roly-polies. And... It's working because it's keeping them busy instead of here. He also turned into a ball. See that little ball? <laughs> That's a roly poly. Okay, I'm putting them in here and then we'll see what to do with them. Okay, so I'm going to show you what slug damage means and how we are not going to give up. But let me show you what happens at night. When we sleep, then our precious little plants get eaten alive. Boy, the leaf right there is a slug. This is the trap bait that I put out. And if we see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six slugs and lots and lots of pill bugs or roly polies enjoying the kiwis so thank god they're all here and not on these but there are so many that they got to already so i'm just glad that we can save some of them and we're just gonna have to keep on remembering. These are the pill bugs, see them? You catch them and they just, in the day they disappear. At night they're just like teeny little things and they turn into little balls. I am now going to find another home for these slugs and pill bugs. That is a wrap for our midnight adventures in the garden. It's pretty gross, sorry about that. But there are a few other options. Fresh young shoots are the ones that the slugs and the roly-poly bugs like best. So another solution would be to start things off in the greenhouse and only when they're bigger and woodier then to transplant it into the garden. That's what we're doing with our other plants. And also to keep up, there are other options, putting up beer traps and um, always making sure that you have something to distract them and then coming out and gathering them either this time at night or in the morning so we're going to keep it up we're not going to be discouraged from a few pea plants even though i have to admit it is pretty sad the carrots they're not so interested in so i'm not complaining take care have a good night